In last video, we discussed about Sun in the 11th house of the horoscope. In this video, we are going to talk about what happens when you have Moon in the 11th house of the horoscope. So keep watching. Namaste and welcome to Pramanic Astrology channel. I'm your host Prasad Mahazani. Help you raise your vibrations and become your true self with the help of Vedic Astrology. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. You will be getting Vedic Astrological videos just like this one. And these videos will help you grow further faster into Vedic Astrological Studies. If you have any question, put your question into the YouTube video comment section. I read all the comments and I try to reply to almost all the comments. You can also add me on Instagram at Pramanic Astrology. And if you are looking for readings and consultation, check out the link into the description section and go for the intensive horoscope analysis. Moon in the 11th house of the horoscope. Before we talk about Moon in the 11th house, what is Moon? The first thing which comes to my mind when I think of Moon is Manas, mind. Moon is all about the mind. Sun is your soul, Moon is your mind. Moon is the significator for your nutrition, your mother, your physical body, your motherland. Moon signifies rhythm and fluctuation in your life. Moon also signifies desires, emotions and subjectivity in one's life. Moon is all about the ups and downs. Moon also signifies the relationship with your mother, nourishment and all the fourth house Cancerian things signified by the moon. What is 11th house? 11th house is one of the Upachaya houses. The first thing which comes to my mind when I think of 11th house is gains. 11th house is the house of gains. 11th house is the house of profit. 11th house is the house of the ultimate gains because 11th house is second to the 10th and 12th to the 12th that is lost to the loss and the obstacle to the obstacle. So 11th house is the ultimate gains house. 11th house is the ability to enjoy the things. 11th house is all about the huge profits. 11th house is the house of income. Second house also shows income, but 11th house is more of the huge gains. 11th house also signifies your friends your networking, your social circles, your connection with the larger organizations, all these can be seen with the 11th house. 11th house is the house of the hopes, wishes and dreams. So if you have big dreams, you have to check this house. It is considered as one of the most benefic house. 11th house is the ultimate Kama Trikon house. Kama Trikon houses are 3, 7 and 11. These houses are the houses which, which brings in the desire in your life and that might deviate you from your dharma. That is 1, 5, 9 houses. But nevertheless, 11th house does show the material gains. 11th house is also one of the Upachaya houses. That is, it grows with the time. Malefic planet does great job. In fact, any planet does great job into the 11th house. We talked about sun in the 11th house in the last video. Let's try to understand what happens when you have moon in the 11th house. The planet of fluctuation comes into the house of gains and profit. So what it shows is the person with the moon in the 11th house will have huge gains or their profits may not be stable. Why? Because moon is all about the fluctuation. The planet of desire comes into the house of desire. So these people are aligned to their desires. So they know what they want and their mind is into this. Their mind is into the 11th house. So they are constantly on the path to follow their dreams. They will make it happen. The planet of the emotions comes into the house of friends and networking. So these people bring in the element of emotion with every relationship they build in. 
11th house is about the networking but this networking has the element of moon it's not the networking by the sun where he will determine and dictate the terms or people will think about him as a king and will support him here moon is putting in his emotions into the 11th house things so he is involved into the 11th house things of networking friendships recreational activities about enjoying the life so these people have a great test to enjoy the life these people will enjoy the music these people will be very popular in their friend circle why because they are involved into that because their mind is into the 11th house now so these people are very popular into the friends and especially with the female friends no matter if you are male or female your female friends will help you even more or any motherly figure will always help you to have gains or support or advancement in life moon is also the planet of the creativity the planet of creativity is coming into the house of the arts or the recreational activities or or the cultural activities now this moon feels comfortable and is ready to follow the dreams of the artistic pursuits these people will follow these people will have some sort of artistic talent for sure they may be good with singing or maybe painting or something to do with the arts and they will be known in their circles for their creative and artistic talents the planet of mother comes into the house of gains these people will have gains due to their mother maybe that maybe due to the teachings of their mother maybe due to the advice of their mother they are able to achieve huge gains in their life but their relationship with their mother is also like a moon up and down apart from the fluctuation signification of the moon 11th house is eight places away from the original fourth house of your horoscope which signifies mother and nourishment so your relationship with your mother will be always up and down one day you are loving her other day you feel burdened about the relationship it is due to the 8th house element into the moon in the 11th house but yes you will have gains from your mother or her teachings for sure from the 11th house moon aspects the 5th house of the horoscope what is 5th house 5th house is the ultimate house of your hobbies and passion now this moon helps this person to pursue the artistic talents to pursue their artistic hobbies not only follow them but get gains from it because the planet is into the 11th house so the planet of creative and artistic talents is aspecting the 5th house of the horoscope which is also the house of the wealth it is connecting both the wealth houses now just like in the 410 we discussed about the mother and father and parent so each planet coming into the 10th house was kind of putting their element into the relationship with the parents now every planet which will come into the 11th house will have an impact on the 511 axis which is all about the wealth 11th house is the house of wealth and 5th house is also one of the wealth giving houses okay so it is connecting both the houses yes what happens if you have an exalted moon into the 11th house when you have an exalted moon into the 11th house it becomes your lucky lord when you have a cancer ascendant you will have 11th house moon into the sign of taurus now you we can observe all the 11th house moon significations in the most positive and benefic way possible so what you have to do you have to look for the rashi of d9 of the moon to confirm what promise he is showing into the deep one okay next what if if you have a debilitated moon into the 11th house 
when it is debilitated it is into the sign of scorpio you will see number eight return into the 11th house houses are fixed these numbers will change according to your ascendant and once you have the debilitated moon into the eighth house it will be the lord of the seventh house the seventh lord going into the eighth house excuse me into the eleventh house into the eighth rashi so the planet of relationship is going into the house of gains for this you need to check the rashi of the d9 again you have to look for the d9 rashi of the moon if it is exalted if it is into the sign of cancer or taurus and then you can come to some conclusion as to what exactly happened with moon okay because in moon into the d1 it is the lordship of the seventh house which is the house of marriage but again it is also one of the marka houses and now it is going to get into the 11th house and getting debilitated okay and if you want to know more about the debilitation go and watch the niche bangaraj yoga video wherein we have discussed at length what are the criteria to look for the cancellation of the planet so yes what to watch next if you are just starting into vedic astrology go and watch how to get started into vedic astrology playlist go and watch the rising signs or ascendant playlist or just go to my youtube page go to the playlist section and start exploring any of the playlist and start exploring the fascinating world of vedic astrology sending you tons of positive energy sending you high vibrations see you in the next videos love and peace